Over the past 24 hours, the Ukrainian defense forces have killed and wounded about 1,770 Russian occupiers in battle. The soldiers also destroyed 272 units of military equipment and weapons of the Russian troops on the front. The total number of manpower losses suffered by the enemy on Ukrainian soil over more than 2.8 years of full-scale war amounts to approximately 710,660 invaders. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported updated data as of November 11. In addition to the large number of invaders, the defenders on the eve subtracted 40 combat armored vehicles, 34 artillery systems, and 4 tanks from the Russian army. Two Russian cruise missiles and 57 operational tactical level drones were shot down in the sky. The fighters burned another 119 units of enemy vehicles and tankers, and 16 units of special equipment. The remaining losses of the Russian armed forces in the war against Ukraine remained at the same level, minus 1,245 MLRS, 996 air defense systems, 369 aircraft, 329 helicopters, 28 ships slash boats and a submarine. As the general staff notes, 160 combat clashes were recorded during the past day. There were three attacks by the occupiers in the Kupyan direction during the day. The defense forces repelled enemy assaults near Kindrasivka, Zagrazovi and Zeleny Gay. In the Lyman direction, the enemy attacked six times. He tried to advance near the settlements of Grykivka, Terny, Torsky and Sarabrianka. In the Kramatorsk direction, three clashes were recorded in the areas of Stepaki and Shesevoy Yar. In the direction of Toritsk, the enemy launched 16 attacks near Toritsk and Sherbanivka. In the Pokrovsky direction, our defenders stopped 35 assault and offensive actions of the aggressor in the areas of Myro-Lubivka, Promeny, Hryharivka, Solidovoy, Lasivka, Sikoy Yar and Petrivka. The senior advisor to President-elect Donald Trump said that the new administration will focus on achieving peace in Ukraine, and not on giving Ukraine the opportunity to return the territories occupied by Russia. Brian Lanza, the strategist of the Republican Party, told the BBC that the Trump administration will ask the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, to present his version of the realistic vision of the world. And if President Zelensky sits down at the negotiating table and says that we can have peace only if we have Crimea, he will show us that he is not serious, he said. The president-elect constantly declares that his priority is ending the war and stopping what he describes as the leakage of US resources in the form of military aid to Ukraine. Mr. Lanza, Trump's political adviser since his 2016 election campaign, said that the return of Crimea is unrealistic and not the goal of the United States. When Zelensky says that we will end these hostilities, that peace will come only after the return of Crimea, we have news for President Zelensky, there is no more Crimea, he said in the BBC World Service weekend program. And if the return of Crimea is a priority for you, and American soldiers must fight for the return of Crimea, then you are on your own. The USA has never sent American soldiers to fight in Ukraine, and Kiev has not asked American troops to fight on its behalf. Ukraine requested American military aid only to arm its soldiers. Opponents of Trump from the Democratic Party accuse him of rapprochement with the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, and say that his approach to war is tantamount to the surrender of Ukraine, which will threaten the whole of Europe. Так, это танчик подорвавшийся. Сходу так и не определишь, правда, что за палка. Нормальная защита. Какая у него защита, братан? У него кирпичи защита были. Да. 
Да, вот такую ямочку вырывает. Противокумулятивный мангал был. Офигеть, он просто как чупа-чупс споткнулся в землю. Сложно представить, что такую машину можно так просто уничтожить. Ну это какая-то супермина была. Бля, что за танк? Сексуалька похож. Ну да, у него какая-то не свои не свойственная, блядь. Питерский танк 100%, потому что его башня вообще какая-то другая. Я вот думаю, это не леопард случайно. Бля, башня вообще не свойственная. Я не знаю таких танков у нас. Блять, странная хуйня. Чего это, блядь? Кожа в какой-то дополнительный стоит у него на этом. Бля, у того бы танка я тоже сходил. South Korea's military said North Korea disrupted GPS signals from border areas for the second straight day on Saturday, affecting an unspecified number of flights and vessel operations. Tensions between the rival Koreas have escalated as North Korean leader Kim Jong-un flaunts his advancing nuclear and missile program and engages in electronic and psychological warfare, such as flying thousands of balloons to drop trash and anti-South Korean propaganda leaflets in the South. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said North Korean operations to manipulate GPS signals were detected from around the western border city of Kaesong and the nearby city of Haiju on Friday and Saturday and said the activities disrupted dozens of civilian aircraft and several vessels. While warning aircraft and vessels near western border areas, South Korea's military did not specify how North Korea was interfering with GPS signals or detail the extent. Of the disruptions. We urge North Korea to stop GPS interference provocations immediately and strongly warn that it will be held fully accountable for any resulting consequences. The South's Joint Chiefs said in a statement, North Korea's GPS signal disruptions and balloon campaigns highlight the vulnerability of South Korea's Incheon International Airport, its main transportation gateway. Analyst Suk Joon Yoon recently wrote on the North Korea-focused 38 North website. The airport, which carries 56 million people and 3.6 million tons of cargo annually, is less than 100 kilometers from North Korea. No major aviation incidents have resulted to date, but GPS interference can endanger commercial airlines flying in poor visibility, and it is a violation of international conventions on navigational safety. Yoon wrote, He said that in 2024, North Korean trash balloons halted the airport's runway operations 12 different times for a total of 265 minutes. Kim has shown more hostility this year towards Seoul's conservative government. South Korean officials say North Korean activities to disrupt GPS signals from western border regions increased as the country began launching trash-carrying balloons toward the South in late May, which the North described as a retaliation against South Korean civilian activists flying anti-North Korean propaganda leaflets across the border. 